I'm Chess Kane with, uh, I'm an Amsoil dealer, full-time Amsoil dealer. Uh, oilordering.com is my website. Uh, we call ourselves Direct Jobber once you get to a certain level. But I wanted to make a on-screen video that uh, kind of showed why when you sign up as a dealer, whether you sign up in my group through oilordering.com or another dealer, uh, you won't be in the dark. This is not a business where you get a kit and you're throwing some papers and you sell or you don't sell. It's not like that at all. In fact, it's uh, quite uh, broad spectrum. The, uh, the points that you're going to see here should answer those questions. So first of all, uh, we're going to go over the tools, the opportunity, and the potential income uh, that you can make with this business. Of course, starting on the lowest level, uh, when, you're, when you are a dealer, there's a little area called uh, the dealer zone. And that's what you see here on the screen. Let me go to the home page. Uh, there's a lot of stuff in here. I just want to spend just a minute, though, uh, training. A lot of questions here. Amsoil University, we're going to go over that real quick. The knowledge base, that's this uh, area online. It's new that you can put in your questions, like uh, two-cycle oil. I'll just type in the word cycle, and that gives you an idea. Is it okay to break in new two-cycle equipment using Amsoil? Uh, injector oil, is that the same as the HP injector oil? There's, there's several two-cycle oils, and a lot of questions can come from that. So let's just try this. Uh, Harley, that search term. See what comes up there. How do I sell the V-twin lubricant line? Um, let's see. Is the synthetic chain case and gear oil acceptable to use? So there's there's a lot of questions, and you can learn a lot from this knowledge base. So there's a 24-hour tech service uh, staff right here. Think of it that way. Let's uh, go back to the dealer zone. So we, uh, we also have this uh, area where you can submit uh, questions, uh, corporate events, dealer meetings, blogs. I use that myself. Marketing plan philosophy. How do I get paid? T1 certification. We're going to go over that. Another one is the training materials, these uh, field sales tools. There's all sorts of stuff here. It just goes on and on. But uh, the field sales tools are kind of nice. Because a key group here, refuse haulers or garbage trucks, uh, they perform exceptionally well with AMSO. There's so much money savings with the AMSO product. Automotive and work truck fleets, uh, lubricant installers market. All these things are, are covered here. What you do is you take AMSO University, which we're going to cover, and then you uh, take the, uh, the little worksheets that come with this, and it, you can put a plan together to, uh, to start growing your business via accounts. So anyway, um, the other point that I want to say, though, is a lot of these brochures, not only, well, what they've been doing is upgrading the quality. So let's take one here, popular one, the diesel power brochure. A lot of diesel business, a lot of diesel customers. It's become my second biggest uh, market here in the store. These brochures, let's see how well it shows up, are a large three-fold hard cardboard type of paper. There we go. They're not cheap because they're high quality. They're made in USA. They're not made in China. But uh, for every one of these types of brochures, there's also a small uh, trifold version that they come in a pack of 50 or a pack of 100. So that's what this is. You're looking for new customers, potential dealers. You get a pack of these for $100. All right pack of a hundred for just a couple of dollars. Let me clear that up. Um, here is the original form of that one, by the way. It's called the G85. If you go to Amsoil.com, just type in G85 and you can pull this up. But I wanted to go over something real quick before we show you Amsoil U. I'm going to show you a couple little videos there. But on this, these are the six basic ways to make money with your Amsoil business as a dealer. The um, to me, the most enjoyable, of course, is the internet sales. But I'm sitting in a full-time Amsoil retail store, so the retail sales have become a major part of my business. Uh, I ship out of here, uh, and I set up different price groups because, again, we set our customers up. Uh, well, I'll show you that. I don't want to jump the gun on this one. 
catalog sales, uh, any of the literature and catalogs that you hand out, people can order online or they can order via phone to Amsoil. So there's an area where those, uh, not only retail profits, but there's a commission profit. So you actually profit twice from those sales. Internet sales, well, that's what these dealer video blogs I'm making are going to be all about. Uh, pay attention to this uh, YouTube channel or join us as a dealer and get in on my newsletter and uh, we're going to cover that. Actually, I got something on that I'm going to cover with this page in just a moment. Uh, commercial account sales at your fleets. My uh, personal group of fleets that I uh, sell the most to is truck drivers, over the road trucking, buying three or four or five gallon cases of our premium diesel oil. And, uh, you know, sometimes they use oil analysis, sometimes they just change at regular intervals. But typically that oil goes three times longer, so that's a, an area that you want to study. The other uh, big draw for commercial accounts is excavating in uh, construction companies. The next one, retail account sales. This is actually where Amazon's had the most growth recently because of some new tools available. New tools and new opportunities available. Uh, that's where you sign up your Napa store, auto parts shops, quick lubes, that's the main uh, attention right now. And But you could actually sign up big box stores one at a time if you uh, have an agreement with the general manager there. So there's all sorts of things you're going to learn about that in the dealer zone. And then last, uh, which is uh, can be the most lucrative, is sponsoring new dealers and preferred customers. Uh, you want to get a go-getter just like yourself. Well, for me personally, I do things like I read these kind of how-to self-help books. This one I just recently, I'm doing a drawing to my dealers because I found it extremely helpful, Go by Greg Knapp. It kind of shows you how to uh, use your time more efficiently and, and really focus on uh, on reaching certain types of goals. So I use those myself. That helps me uh, focus on this business more. On that note, when you sign up dealers, retail accounts and commercial accounts, this is just a $30 a year business. And if you look across the street, we got a Hardee's. That's a franchise. Uh, when you get into a franchise, you're spending $100,000 to $200,000 just to get your foot in the door if you're that may be just if you're partnering with somebody. This business, though, even though it's a $30 a year business, my monthly income is greater probably than a owner that's struggling to deal with all the employees and all that of that type of business. So the Amsoil business gives you much more flexibility. Uh, whether you want to be just part-time, occasional, not even part-time or full-time, all those options are there. The next thing I wanted to address was this right here. The first step to success in Amsoil is a direct jobber. That's where you're in the one year period, three months in a row, you want to be, just like it shows on the screen, 3,000 points. So, you know, March, April, and May, or whatever, December, January, February. If you do 3,000 in a row, the three months, you're locked into this new position to where your commissions for the product are at the greatest. When you're at the greatest commission level, you can start being flexible on retail uh, chart, what you charge for the retail. And what I've done, it's very successful, is uh, I give permanent discounts in my point of sale system to my repeat customers because I'm getting the same commission on everybody. And the more I do that, the more I sell, and the more I sell, uh, the more discounts I get when I load up my store of products, and the more products that I load up, the cheaper my shipping becomes. So the more you... The more you incentive your customer, the more money you make. It's that simple. And uh, Amazon is very well set up. There's some dealers that sold a case of oil uh, in one month, and they got a commission check for $3. They said, well, gosh, I only made a couple dollars on the oil and $3. I quit. Well, someone didn't show them the whole picture. It's kind of sad, but that's what I'm trying to do here, show you the whole picture. Now that you've seen that, let's jump to this. Let's say that you... Uh, you're talking to a quick lube uh, shop down the street. Whoops, let me go back to that screen. And uh, they say, well, I like the profit margin, but what about shipping? Uh, I don't think you have the inventory I need, and I need shelving. Well, two years ago, we couldn't address that. Now, if you sign up a quick lube or any type of retail account, whether it's an auto parts store or a motorcycle shop, 
Right here it says on top, Amzol offers free shipping on orders over $300. If it's less than $300, it's a flat rate $9.99. Two day average delivery times, if not stock locally. Now if you're the dealer and you have it in stock, you can take these products to them and Amzol re reimburses you partially on the shipping when they're when you use their account to replenish your order. So at that time you get your, uh, oh by the way on retail accounts you get an additional 15% cash bonus there. Uh, merchandising, shelving is available. That wasn't available before. Uh, you co-op that between you and Amsoil. For quick lubes they have these custom oil change decals. I've actually sold a couple of those to some motorcycle shops too. People put them you know, under the seat or something. They know where they bought the oil. For retail accounts including yourself as a dealer Amzol now has the corporate dealer locator. It's a dealer locator and it's also an installer locator. In fact, uh, I'll show you what that looks like here. You just find an find Amzol near you, and this is it right here. So you type in uh, let's try, let's try uh, 85044. Uh, let's see if there's a power sports place here in Phoenix, Arizona. Just a quick test. And there are several. There you go. So every one that you sign up will go on this map and local customers can find them now. Uh, so I just wanted to cover that. I do have a page two on this. If you switch to the next page, you can also, I made this, if you join our group, I'll send you the PDF of this and you can make your own version of it. This uh, nice little chart shows that the products don't collect dust. You can see the market median sales of Amazon instantly recognized for quality are sold. So these are the median repair shop, 50 changes per month, quick lube, 110 per month, 82 cases and 182 cases for the quick lube. The average synthetic price, this isn't Amazon, this is just average, is $73. So if they buy the OE, which is extremely profitable, there's a $60 profit almost on that type of oil change. The OE product actually is designed to, to compete on price with the uh, quick lube that might be using Castrol or a, a lesser brand. And of course it shows that you know we've got other associated products uh, that they want to keep in stock. If you sign up to become a dealer, first thing you want to do is be found locally. Uh, this is what I try to help my dealers with right here on the right hand side you see there's a, uh, a location and uh, okay what this is is the Google local listing and that's free so you can sign up that any business can do that um, usually shows usually it doesn't even show photos usually just shows the map location unless there's other competitors on there you want to be found in the natural listing when someone searches Amsoil you want a Facebook presence, so at least be on Facebook. But if you're adding to it every day, uh, Google's going to pick it up. Uh, you want other web presence. That's an older website that we did years ago. You want your downline dealers, anybody you sign up to also share in that page and share with the, uh, the business uh, opportunities in, in that city. Uh, also, it's always a smart thing to have a YouTube page. And look at this our YouTube uh, channel and our YouTube videos are making it in the search as well. Also the map, MapQuest. So that's just a quick glimpse. So a little website, this was made on WordPress. This is the reason this website is successful. It looks real plain. It only has a few Amsoil products. Uh, those were added because these products on this list were collecting dust compared to the other products, the, you know, the big sellers, the big 530. So as soon as I added them, and we're in a town that Amsoil was not a big seller because there was just no presence for years. As soon as I added these products, especially the European car formula, it started selling because people were looking for it, but they just didn't know where to go. So everybody that was coming into the store, uh, their comment was, I've been wanting to use Amsoil forever, but I just could never find it. Or the people that said they had it uh, said, oh, I'll get it for you next week, and that just wasn't good enough. So you popularize the products by this type of activity. Also, take advantage of uh, the blogs. The whole reason this page works, it was a free website, by the way. It's free, it's dynamic, but it has a blog. 
Uh, don't ever get a cookie cutter website or any of these. For, uh, you, you pay somebody else for it because they just don't rank. You don't have any control over them. So the blogs take keywords that people are searching for and they draw them into your website. And then from there, you, you, you get them to... Uh, you know, like it or, or go to your Facebook page or sign up for your newsletter and now you got an address and you can start sending newsletters out to them. All sorts of uh, advantages. So let's stop with that and now I want to show you AMZO University. When you join as a dealer, as we saw earlier in the dealer zone I logged out of, this is AMZO's home training area. For the last 15 years you'd have to go to Duluth, weeks worth of training. And the dealers that went to Duluth uh, more than the dealers that didn't go to this training within uh, six months to two years a huge percentage of them made direct job or whereas dealers that didn't attend it took them more of an average of four or five years to reach direct job so this training right here is significant in your uh, learning curve basically I'm going to show you one thing they have these great teleconferences that are uh, they're kind of nestled in between the training so we've got T1, T2, T3, and T4. T1 is the essential one. You must take that to be considered a certified dealer. That's what gets you listed on the internet on AMSOL's page. It lets you take part of all the benefits like the co-op, marketing materials, uh, trade shows, all that thing. And it's a prerequisite to the rest of the uh, AMSOL U. So everybody starts with the T1 training, carry some inventory, they sign up an account, they get their dealership listed on AMSOL's website. And then when you go into the T2 training, things start really getting exciting. And again, I've done this every year at AMSOL U, but every year the material is updated. All these courses up here that I haven't taken yet are new compared to what I would have seen a year ago. But like this uh, drivetrain fundamentals, when you launch the program, and there's, a qui there's quizzes during the program, and there's also a test at the end of the program. Well, let's see, resume where you left off. This will kind of give you an idea. See, it's interactive. It's kind of nice. Okay. So it's a self-teaching type of a system. I want to show you a better example where we actually have some audio here. Let's go back into here real quick. Here you go, prospecting. Uh, there's technical classes and there's sales. So let's uh, pull this up. See who's giving this course. One of the best ways to improve your odds in prospecting is to investigate thoroughly. Match your interests and experience with prospects where you see opportunities. Take the time to research the industry or concerns of your particular prospect. Understand the competitive landscape your prospects are dealing with. When possible, visit the prospect as a customer first. All these activities will leave you better prepared to prospect in a particular field. You can never really know how your prospect will respond. Or so that's just one small section of one module in one of the T2 sales areas. Now, as you uh, go through these and uh, as you uh, learn from them, then Amazon puts these uh, webinars on, these uh, teleconferences. And they enhance the material in there, and they give you a chance to work to f have feedback with the sales team up there in Amsoil if you have any questions or concerns or something's not working for you. Oh, on that note, in several of the Amsoil warehouses, they actually have field reps that uh, if you uh, if you need, they'll come out in the field and help you secure that large commercial account, like that big construction company or the garbage truck company that you're looking for. But anyway, let's look at one of these uh, teleconferences real quick. Uh, just a quick sample. Handling objections. Uh, I haven't done that one yet. Let's do uh, automotive enthusiast teleconference. Uh, let's take, let's move that over here. So these are set at a certain date. You call in or you use the you call in by the phone, or it's a certain piece of software, Cisco software, which you can enjoy this. I think Steve LePage is giving this one. Let's take a listen. And we are live, so uh, everybody, welcome to our bi-weekly dealer training teleconference conducted by the Amsoil uh, Dealer Development Group. Uh, tonight's uh, teleconference focusing on the automotive enthusiast market. Uh, 
I'm uh, Steve LePage. I'm the dealer training manager here at Amswell. I'm joined by Rob Stenberg, the uh, director of uh, the online is going to be the weekly quick shot uh, segment. Uh, it's going to be weekly. So these talks, I just skipped ahead to see if there was some uh, a caller feedback that was. But yeah, they're nice because they're live, and then if you miss it, or if you watched it, you can review it again. They post it in a couple of days. So there's several of these. They're adding them all the time. And last but not least is the quick shots. And I really like these because they're it's a new thing that they're doing, and it really helps you enhance your skills because there's... Uh, let me see if I can find the... Oh, by the way, as far as the Amsoil T2 program, the one on the automotive enthusiast market... It's pretty incredible because they talk about some studies that Amsoil hired out a third-party company and the results that they got back are significant. And that further helps you develop your customer base without wasting time on people that aren't interested in Amsoil. They found out exactly the type of person and where you should go to find that person. Let's take a look at this Amsoil Marine Products. This is the Quick Shots. Oh, let me slow this down because it... Uh, Welcome to Amsoil Quick Shots. I'm Steve LePage. The North American marine market presents an excellent opportunity for Amsoil dealers. We recently updated our marine products, and Amsoil product specialist Josh Chemis is here today to bring us up to date on the new marine family. Josh? Thanks, Steve. A quick look at the marine market reveals that Mercury is the market leader in outboards. Mercury's most popular models require 25W40 marine oil, so we set out to add this option to our marine line. If you're active in the marine market, you've noticed that our new product is a synthetic blend rather than a full synthetic oil. Mercury's owner's manuals actually discourage the use of full synthetic oil, and most Mercury owners won't consider straying from these guidelines. Rather than swimming against the current, we engineered a product that would be easier for you to sell and provide another opportunity for you to earn sales where no opportunity existed before. And another. So there you go. That's just uh, one minute of uh, one of these segments. Uh, that they develop so uh, it's just like getting the news right there from corporate uh, without waiting for a newsletter uh, that type of thing and when these come out uh, you're notified through your uh, well the Amsoil Facebook page uh, but there's a there's another area at Amsoil.com called the hot wire and you sign up for that and that goes right to your email so all these things come in via the email so we went over uh, Amsoil University the uh, course catalog uh, which which is available of course the training the presentations the webinars the live webinars so I've done this every year now I've got to finish for 2016 and we'll do more things on that in the future um, two other things I left out I do want to show if I wanted to post here we go subjects for future uh, videos that I'm gonna make you can just take a quick look at this. Let me make sure it's in the screen where you can see. Multiple discussions, technical advantages, and sales points. We're going to go over how to dominate locally. I want to talk about Amsoil U uh, as I learn some new things on it. Basic minimum home inventory. I, I've prepared a new spreadsheet. So if you're a new dealer, you want to have... Uh, I kind of cut it into four sections based on what you're willing to spend and priority. You know, uh, there's some items that you just have to have. And then as your business grows, there's some items you should have. And then there's another list that kind of gives you a, a, a bit of everything so you never have to tell a customer, well, hold on, I'll get that for you in a couple days. The good thing about having a good inventory is you're not spending so much money on shipping. And there's some other tricks and quirks on shipping you should know too. Oil filter discussion. There's there's a lot of sales points that I think that are overlooked. Social media overview. Another thing that's overlooked. Uh, advertising on Facebook. That's tricky. Uh, we'll go over that. Motivational tools. I do like that subject. Uh, instant blogging. Uh, definite must. Random talks. We're going to do more of that. I enjoy doing these videos. Pay-per-click listings. That's somewhere you got to be careful with, but there are certain aspects to it that uh, in particular that you can really make work for yourself and of course more to come so in the last thing as I promised I'd show you some actual income numbers uh, this will touch on the first part I wanted to show you 
This is just about a 30-day sample from people that buy on my website, uh, where the link that goes to the Amsoil website. So you can see there's several. These are just new customers, not repeat customers. But there's several. $150, 165. We got a 267, 156, $170, uh, $137, $200, $70, 354, and a couple another, you know, a couple others here. If you see a $30 one, they signed up as a dealer, and it also tells you which website it came from or where the link uh, came in from. That kind of gives you an idea if things are working properly. But uh, it varies from month to month, that type of thing. And I wanted to show you one more thing before we end this video. Uh, again, this is a business to consider, so I didn't want to just make a five-minute video over this. I, I wanted to, to cover as much as I could. Here's a chart showing earnings over three years. Now, this is just a sample one that Amsoil posted on their... Uh, this is one of the reasons you want to be in the Amsoil University. This was on the uh, Quick Shots talk. Anyway, um, you can measure your performance from year to year. This third year... They, things really started picking up and then as typical in July there's a drop there for me June July August and February are my top months let's pull up another visual downline sales here we go this shows you your 12 month sales figures uh, so this dealer here it's an imaginative dealer $39,000 but it breaks down where the sales were so they were uh, quite strong in the retail account area. That'd be your Quick Lubes, your uh, look around town at all the retail shops that you could potentially put Amsoil on the shelf. This dealer really excels there. Uh, catalog retail, that was the low one there. Preferred customer income was really good. That's people they signed up to buy wholesale, factory direct, or through them. Uh, looks like they've got a good downline here. There's uh, 15 uh, dealer accounts uh, that ac that accounted for six thousand dollars easily that making this dealer a direct jobber uh, so that's a pretty good uh, dealer maybe he's been in the business for two years three years right there and I've got let me look at one more uh, example um, let's see sales I think this might be the one yeah same number, the $39,000, but now we're breaking it down by the products. Uh, other would be the Ag Grand line, that's the natural fertilizers. But we got motor oil, of course, that's number one. Power Sports, which would be your motorcycle oils, V-Twin uh, market. Uh, drivetrain lubes, for my business, this is, ex is exceptionally high. I sell a lot of uh, automatic transmission fluid in that MTG 75W90GL4. Oil filters and promotional just uh, kind of gives you an idea of what you've spent on banners, shirts, stickers, all that type of thing. And that's about a reasonable amount over the year. Uh, so that kind of gives you, I hope that gives you a good overview. The very last thing that's necessary to show you is, of course, how to join. And uh, you can just go to amsel.com. Let's say, there we go, we just click on that. So it takes us back to the front page. Uh, if you want to join in my group, my account number is 510227. So you would uh, just hit this business opportunities, become a dealer. There we go. There's an area where you select, uh, is it going to be a six-month dealership or a one-year to get started? So a trial dealership is just $15. You add that to the cart you check out and if you want to be in our group so we can uh, help mentor you through this business here's where you do it create an account and of course you put your personal uh, information here name address zip code email and then right down here it says uh, have a referral number enter it below and that's me 510227 and the reason it was there is if you it might already be there is if you came through our site and you put the join now it automatically embeds it into that page hope you learned something about the advantages and the marketing things that have come about the free shipping for retail accounts uh, Amsel has excellent shipping rates by the way negotiate with UPS in all 50 states yes Hawaii too, Alaska 
they've got a warehouse up there. And then uh, let me name those warehouses real quick. We can just go here and look at them. Oh, I don't have that screen up anymore, but it's uh, several, several, several East Coast. We got uh, Dallas, Wichita, Duluth, of course, uh, Las Vegas, Orlando, Florida. Alaska has one. I mean, uh, Portland, Oregon, Orlando, Florida, down south, Richmond, Virginia, um, Lancaster, Pennsylvania, Chicago, Illinois, so and um, Columbus, Ohio. These are all strategically located to keep the shipping costs down. And uh, that about ends it there. So if you got any questions, just go to oilordering.com. You can find us there at any time. And I uh, look forward to speaking with you. Thank you.